Hello guys, so uh, Godot 3.5 just released and uh, I was mostly messing around with uh, navigation meshes because they have um, a obstacle avoidance now so I wanted to like show you guys how I got it to work so I could play it real quick so I have the scene here, I could move my mouse and the uh, camera around and I could left click anywhere for the characters to move around and this object is an obstacle that they will avoid. So if I try to make them walk towards it, they're gonna go around it. And go over there. See that they're not walking that direction. Well, that one did. Oh, they could pass. If I go back to it right there, do that. And they'll keep moving around it whenever it comes in their way. And go back to the. Alright. So, let's. Show you how the scene looks over here. I have the world, these four NPCs, and the moving object. Inside of that, I just have a uh, animation player that's moving it, plus the navigation obstacle on node. So let's start with the NPCs first. So, got the code right here. We set up the navigation agent. Right up, grab it and then we I make a next point thing and the target that's the final destination and my speed velocity and I have this new one here called new velocity so that use it that's used by the obstacle over so let's go down so right here I could set my navigation that's the navigation node in the world here and it's depreciated, so it's gonna be changed in uh, Godot 4. I think in Godot 4, you're using navigation region, but overall, most of it's gonna be the same. So let's go back in here. So I set this to zero in the beginning, the velocity, and then I say if my globals target, that's a variable that I created right here, and it's an auto loaded script. If it's not equal zero, then I set the target locations to be it. So on the camera, I'm doing it. Over here, I have the camera. And I say if action just press right mouse, that's for rotation. And on left mouse, I say global target position, get mouse roll point. And I, here I get the world small point. I'm gonna leave this code uh, on GitHub maybe. And then back here, I set it to be it's it's only transform if it's not a if it's zero. Now, on the next point, you just say navigation this here, that guy. They get next location. You can call this each frame. It won't change until it's the its parent is close to the target location. And then I set the direction that I want to go in. So I say next point minus my global transform origin, normalize it, then the velocity. And in order to use obstacle avoidance, I have to say nav set velocity, and that will shoot this signal down here. That I, you can instance it from here in the node right here, velocity computed. Let's go back here. Then I set the new velocity to be that new velocity, the safe velocity that's returned. Then I set up my rotations right here. Could skip that part for now, but there. And I set oh, that's not supposed to be there again. But let's see, move and slide to the new velocity. And that's it. Save here. On my moving object, all I did was set it to set the navigation. And with uh, 3.5, you have this new feature yet you can set access scene to unit name. So and no matter where in the node tree the scene is, I could call it by putting the percent sign in its name. That's pretty much most of it. 
I'll leave this code on GitHub for you guys to look at if you want. Pretty easy to do. Let me save again. That's pretty much it. There's a lot more to it, but I'm just messing around with it, so I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Alright guys, take care.